Imagine two sounds having the same high volume level and coming from the same direction. What will happen? You cannot differentiate them. If you want to, the sounds must not occur at the same time, one after the other. That's the rule. Now you can differentiate them. First you hear rain, then a jackhammer. One after the other. That's the principle of dialogue. Next tool. Very simple. Loud sound, quiet sound. If you listen to several sounds at the same time, one thing is standing out. They have different volume levels. Some sounds are in the front, others in the background. For example, you're sitting in a restaurant, there is conversation at all tables. The waiter is coming to your table and recommends you any dish. What happens? You can follow him without any problems because his voice is simply louder than the background buzzing. Different volume levels draw a clear acoustic picture. Hallo, guten Abend. Schon mal die Karten. Danke. Schön. Bitte sehr. Schon was zu trinken für Sie? Ein bisschen Wein zum Essen vielleicht? Now, I would like to do a little experiment with you. Please, try to figure out which sound is loud and which one is silent. Try to concentrate on the silent one and block the loud ones. If you succeed, the brain will shift the relations and it can happen that you finally almost hear only the silent sound. New dimensions of music experience will open up. Can I help you? Yes. I bought this sweater about half an hour ago. Yes, I remember. Is there a problem? Yes, I've decided it's too big. For... What size is it? Medium. So you need a small. I don't see one here. Do you have any more? I'll go and check. Just a minute. Did you at least succeed at some extent? All right. The last practical analyzing tool I'm going to offer you today is the difference between sharp and dull sounds. When listening to a carpet of sound, try to separate chirping sounds from muffled ones. For example, separate crickets from a rolling of thunder in your acoustic perception. To distinguish high and low frequencies brings a tremendous order into your sound picture. All right, so far so good. To sum it up, we have learned about four tools for analytical hearing. The directional hearing. The principle of dialogue. the existence of loud sounds and quiet sounds. Hallo, guten Abend. Schau mal die Karten. Schön. Bitte sehr. And the difference between sharp and dull sounds. We're not finished yet because now I'm going to offer you the secret of the day. We have listened to hundreds of sounds during this session, and there are at least two millions more existing. So what do you think? Is there a chance to categorize them? Or is their appearance too diverse to do that? The answer is, any imaginable sound on Earth is either a tone or a noise. 
That's it. This needs an explanation, I think. But that's another story I'm going to tell you next time with great pleasure.